It's Sunday, February 5th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daly. Richard, in an email, said, Do you think that a person reading in the Bible may simply be born with an agenda? He has a need to control because he got hurt a lot when he was a kid. He doesn't want to twist the Word of God, but he does when he is preaching. Would anybody, being able to be completely objective, twist the Word of God? So do we need to know how a person was raised before we listen to him? Do we need to look at his relationships and family? Wow, what an amazing question. And folks, it's a really good question because there is an excellent point here. What about reading the Bible with an agenda? You know, when you talk to people about what they believe the Bible says, you get a lot of different answers. You get people who are very legalistic that will beat you over the head with the Bible. You get people on the other extreme that says everything is okay, God just loves you and you're fine. And you get some people in the middle that kind of see both sides are a little confused on where to stand. And then there are some people that go about pulling scriptures out of context and putting them all together and kind of forming their own thing. You know, it gets back to what we talked about several weeks ago. You know, when people say, I believe in a God that, and they describe God in their terms of what they believe about him. And, you know, we all do this, all of us, you and me. We do this because it's difficult to read the Bible without an agenda. When I open up the Word of God and I'm feeling bad, I want something that makes me feel better. When I'm feel, feeling angry at somebody, I may want to find something that justifies my anger and I can pull a scripture out of context and do that. We see people that really hate other people. You know, like the church that hates gay people and pickets even at their funerals. And they justify it with the scripture. We see horrendous things over the years. The Crusades justified it with scripture. We see people hating other people and justifying it with scripture. Well, the Bible isn't all things. It isn't all of that. The Bible is not a book of hate, although you could read it that way if you have that kind of an agenda. And so what do we do, folks, when we read the Bible, or what kinds of people do we listen to? You know, there are many pastors, and I agree with this question here. You know, should you check somebody out a little bit before you listen to what they have to say? I think you should. I've known so many pastors who have used their own personal agenda in preaching the Word of God. They may hate a, a, a specific group of people. They may have been very, very hurt in the past, and they use that hurt, and that hurt comes out when they're preaching the word. They may have a, a specific agenda for what they want to build, and they manipulate the word of God to raise money. There's so many things that people do. And folks, it's difficult not to have an agenda. And that's why I think it's important to first of all pray that God would take away your agenda and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to enlighten the Word of God for you. You see, that's the whole reason that the Bible says that the Holy Spirit teaches all things. The Holy Spirit guides us into all the truth. The Holy Spirit is the one that allows us to see what the Bible is actually saying and get the truth of it without our agenda. You know, God has a specific agenda. It's not always ours. And sometimes we put his name on things that he never signed. It's really important, folks, that we really make a concerted effort to allow the Holy Spirit to illuminate his word instead of our own agendas. And so that's one of the great things about being involved in a group of people, that sometimes when you're off, Somebody else can correct you. And as a body of Christ, as we all do this together, we stay balanced. That's why I don't like the spectator sport that church has become. Where you go, you watch somebody, you listen to them, and then you go home. Because that isn't balanced. A balance is where everyone is involved. And we all correct each other and encourage each other 
and we glean together and we get the truth in numbers. It's kind of a cool thing. Anyway, Richard, I hope that helps. And I hope you begin to try to read the Bible without an agenda and through the Holy Spirit's eyes. God bless you. Have a great day.